Hi and welcome to clickmyproject.com. This video is all about explaining the project description or flow of the modules and the demo of the project college automation site. Let's start from the project description. The main aim of this project we propose college website which consider as a college website to a particular college. This project is based on CMS techniques. The main aim of this project is to change the college content dynamically on online itself and to provide a user interface application. The above aim can be established by creating a layered structural model and each model may have sub module. Our college website has two user interface admin module and the user module. The admin is responsible for creating all college contents that display the content on the college site and the create users like department, HOD, staff and students and also provide them with the username, password and access level. The user interface module is classified into three types, department, HOD, staff and student. User can log in through our site and access the service offered by the admin. The model we propose around this project includes the admin module, the user module and access level module. Let's start from the admin module. The admin can log in into our system and ac access the service as follows. Admin can view the profile details, update your profile details and change password routinely for security purpose. Admin is responsible for adding the college details like chairman page, principal page, departments, disciplinary rules, facility and the placement etc. which would be reflect on the college site. Admin can also perform the update and delete operation if necessary. Admin can add staff details and student details along with the username and the password and allow them to access the service in the college site. Admin can add view, update and delete latest news which would be reflect on the e each page in college site. This would be the data flow diagram of the admin module. The next module would be the user module. As we have discussed the user interface module is classified into three types. HOD staff and the student. Let's start from the HOD module. HOD can log in into our system and ac can access the service as follows. HOD can view the profile details, update the profile details and change the password routinely for security purpose. HOD can view the student details like student profile and their academic mark details. HOD is responsible for adding exam schedules for their departments. This would be the data flow diagram of the HOD model. The next model is the student model. Student can log in into our system and can access the service as follows. Student can view the profile, update the profile details, details and change password routinely for security reasons. Student can view the mark details and exam schedules of the of their academic profiles. Student can view the college events and the college news. Student can send mail to staff and HOD to communicate with them. The data flow diagram for the student module is as shown below. The next module would be the staff module. Staff can log in into our system and can access the service as follows. Staff can view their own profile, update their profile details and change password routinely for security reasons. Staff can view the student details like profile details, academic mock details. Staff can view the college events and news. Staff can add the student mark details. Staff can use mail service to communicate with the student and the HOD. The data flow diagram for the staff module is as shown below. The the overall flowchart of this project is shown below. So far we have discussed about the project description and the workflow of the module. Let's start from the demo of the project. The first module would be the admin module. Let's start from the admin module. So far we have discussed about the project description and the workflow of the modules. Let's start from the demo of the project. In our project, we have two more views, front-end view and the back-end view. The front-end view contains the college details which can be viewed by the visitors or the guests who are just visiting the college website. The content in the front-end view are added by the admin. The another view is the back-end view, which provides the service to admin, staff, HOD and the student of this college. Let's start from the admin model. The username for admin is admin. 
and the password is 123. By clicking on the sign in button, admin can log in into our system and can access the service offered to him. The main responsible for the admin is to add the college details which would be reflected on the front view. Admin can view, update and delete the details which has been created by him or her. For example, to add the chairman details, principal details, etc., admin can use our college menu. By clicking on the add pages, he can add chairman details or principal details and click on the submit menu which would be reflected on the front end view on our college menu. Like that, admin can add, uh, add college details to departments facilities by clicking on the department menu, facility menu and so on. The next role of the admin is to add the user details along with the username and password. For this admin use the staff entry to create staff details and HOD details. For adding student details admin use the student entry details for adding student entry details. Admin can change their password routinely for security reasons by clicking on the change password. Admin can log out, of, uh, log out from our system use by clicking on the log out button and return to the home page or front end view. The next module would be the HOD module. The username for the HOD is 121 and the password is 123. By clicking on the sign in button, the HOD can log in into our system and access the service offered to him. The first page would be the home page which contains the profile detail of the HOD who had logged in. By clicking on the update, uh, update button, the HOD can update their profile details. The services offered to the HOD are student details, exam schedule details and change of password. By clicking on the student details, the HOD can view their students in their departments. For example, by clicking on the first year, the HOD can view the first year the student details by clicking on the action button. The next menu is the exam schedule model. By clicking on the exam schedule model, the HOD can add the exam schedules uh, of their department. By clicking on the change password, the HOD can change their password routinely for security reasons. Uh, by clicking on the logout button, the HOD can log out from our system and the return to the home page or front view. The next module would be the staff module. The username for the staff is 122 and the password is 123. By clicking on the sign in button, the staff can log in into our system and access the service offered to them. The first page would be the home page which contains the profile detail of the staff who had login. By clicking on the update button, the staff can update their profile details. The services offered to the staff are student detail menu, exam mark menu and change password menu. By clicking on the student detail menu, first year, the staff can view the first year student details by clicking on the action button. By clicking on the exam mark menu, the staff can enter the student mark details. By clicking on the change password, the staff can change their password routinely for security reasons. By clicking on the logout menu, the staff can log out from our system and return to the home page or front view. The next module is the student module. The username for the student is 111 and the password is 123. By clicking on the sign in button, the student can log in into our system and can access the service as follows. The first page would be the home page which contains the profile detail of the student who logged in. By clicking on the update icon, the student can, be, uh, can update their own profile details. The services offered to the students are academic details, exam schedules and change password. By clicking on the academic details, student can view their academic mark details. By clicking on the exam schedule menu, the student can view the data exam timetables. By clicking on the change password, the student can change the data password routinely for security reasons. By clicking on the logout button, the student can log out from our system and return to the home page or front view. Thank you for watching this video.